Okay, here's the quick video on my battery boost pack that I still have in the trunk of my car. This is a die hard. I guess it is a 18 amp hour battery in there, probably a gel type uh, AGM battery in there. And I still use it, although I have this type of lithium iron booster is very small very handy but I still keep this because you know why because this thing works and there's a 400 watt DC to AC inverter in there lots of plugs 12 volt plugs has a light has a compressor in the back there's a compressor you can use to uh, to reinflate your tires and above all what can it do it can boil water this is an immersion heater it's only 125 watts it works much better in 220 volt then it becomes like a 250 watt heater but you can use this booster pack at least to boil a couple of mugs of water before you have to recharge this and I also work with lithium-ion batteries this is like a 20 amp power this is like a 10 amp and does it boil water you could you could use this to boil water but this is high drain, this is not high drain. So there's a limitation. This is lightweight, 20 amp. This is heavy, but you can use this for high drain purposes, like starting a car. This, unless it is high drain and, and a bigger capacity, cannot start a car. This pack here, because there's some special electronics in there, you can use it to start a car, but it's not very good in, say, boil water. So that's why I still have this in the car. It's not expensive. It's not as dangerous as uh, lithium iron packs. You need all kinds of uh, protections. BMS in there. Make sure you don't overcharge, over discharge and you have to handle it in a certain way uh, it can it can explode it can it can do all kinds of uh, bad things if you don't uh, use it the proper way whereas this is basically old chemistry even though this is AGM but it's still closer to the older lead acid type battery but it's high drain and it's reliable, it's cheap, and yeah. And this one, if I remember correctly, I got it around $100 a few years ago. So when the battery dies, I just open this up and put in another one. Probably no more than $30 or $40 for the replacement battery. This well, it's a little bit more complicated. And yeah, you can have hot water for your cup noodles. And then, of course, I can always use my solar panels to recharge the booster pack. This is the DC to AC inverter. And I just plug it in and then it recharges the booster pack with the solar panels. Yep, all free.